I'm having a year off sex. Oh, another one. Stephen's life is going nowhere. But his best friend, Bunny, is about to change all that. Come on, man. Let's go on holiday. Find ourselves a country we can do something about those walloping great space offers you're clanging around in your pants. Where's your luggage? Cheers. This is 1,500 pages of pure fun. This better be good. Shoes have always been top of the world agenda. Come with me. Food, shelter, good times. Nice. Warm milk. Delicious. From dog. Ah! I'm going to chop off your peanuts and put it in a sandwich. So, do you go out after work? Are you going to go to a bar or anything? No. Good. Good. Finally meet someone who actually stand a chance with them. What do you do? You crawl straight into the friend zone. You're like a brother hmm. or a gay lord. I'm not interested. I think me and Eloise are about to... Great. Yeah, I'm gonna join you. I don't want to take the piss here, but, um... Oh, Where do you see this thing with Bunny going? I don't think Bunny's just the sort of person you really make plans of. Have you been drinking? Yeah. about the art of bullfighting, but I can sum it up in one sentence. Get out of the way of the bull, you idiot! Otherwise, he will rip up on your... Hello, and welcome to the first B-Money's non-horror review, unless you count American Psycho. I actually got into a tip with a guy on here about that. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be looking at Bunny and the Bull. Directed by Peter King, who most people know as the director of The Mighty Boosh. And uh, basically it tells the story of this guy named uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen Turnbull, I think? Yep, Stephen Turnbull, who hasn't left his apartment in over a year. And he's very neurotic, he like, after he uses his floss, he files it away and keeps it, bobbles his urine. And he's got like a year supply of like vegetarian uh, TV dinner type things. And uh, one day he discovers that a bunch of mice have infested his apartment and have eaten through his food. So he has to order takeout and uh, later decides that he has to leave his apartment. But before that he starts seeing different things around his apartment that make him recall the following year when him and his buddy Bunny played by uh, Simon Farnberry. Oh, and Steph is played by Edward Hogg. And, uh, they went on a road trip all over Europe, and a bunch of Mighty Boosh-esque shenanigans occurred. And, uh, when they get to Poland, they meet this girl, and, uh, uh, Stefan falls in love with her, but of course things don't go as planned. That's what happens in these comedy dramas. And they just meet a lot of weird characters along the way, including uh, Noel Fielding and Julian Barrett, who are uh, Vince and Howard from the Mighty Boosh. And uh, Julian Barrett plays this crazy homeless guy in Switzerland who uh, lives with a bunch of dogs and drinks their dog milk. At one point you see him holding up a wiener dog and just yeah, milk pouring down his chin. And uh, Noel Fielding plays a drunk ex-matador, and that's, that's pretty much your typical Noel Fielding character. Very silly accents and over the top. Anyway, uh. Yeah. Ah. The cinematography in it is very, uh, creative. Very cool and indie like, I guess. It's got a lot of, like, paper animation and such. And, uh. It's kind of boosh like. It's kind of weird saying Boosh-esque and Boosh-like if you haven't seen the Mighty Boosh. If you've seen... 
everyone's seen the video clip of old Greg. That's from the Mighty Boosh. But like, they'll have scenes where they have like a snow globe and they'll zoom into it, and the scene will happen. Anyway, uh, as he's telling the story, like his friends like show up in his apartment as figments of his imagination because he's gone crazy because of what happened on the road trip, which I'm not going to say because that'll spoil the movie. Uh, yeah, it's just a really good British comedy. I really dug it. Uh, I didn't get to check out the special features on the DVD, so for the movie itself, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Really dug it. Yep, this has been the first B-Money's non-horror review. See you later.